Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to start the new series to create simple content management system using Laravel framework. As a development stack, we're going to use PHP, Laravel framework, jQuery, and Tailwind CSS. First of all, I would like to start to explain how does the content management system we develop will work. In the system, there will be multiple users and each user will have a role. According to the role, the user will be able to take some different actions. For example, super admins will be able to create, read, update, or delete users on the system in terms of applying CRUD operations on users. Only super admins will be able to assign every roles to other users in the system. For example, super admin can assign super admin role to other user, admin role, editor role, or writer role. Also, super admin will be able to approve or reject the post sent for approval. Admin users also will be able to apply CRUD operations on users, which means they can create, read, update, and delete a user. However, admin users only be able to uh, delete editors or writers on the system. Like a super admin, uh, admins will be able to uh, assign different roles to the users, but admins only limited with an uh, assigning editor role or writing role. Admins also can approve and reject posts as well. The editors in the system will be able to approve and reject posts, uh, which is sent for approval, and the writer will have to uh, get an approval from editor, admin, or super admin whenever they create a post, delete a post, or update a post. Uh, by the way, keep in mind that every user can create, read, update, or delete a post in the system. Only writers will have to get an approval. On the right side, you can see the database tables we're going to use. There will be only users tables and post table. We don't need an extra table for our roles because we know that there will be only four different roles, such as super admin, admin, editor, and writer. Um, in the post table, we will have a created by ID to track whom created which post, updated by ID to track whom approved or reject the post, and published date will be used to make the post uh, visible in the given date. Of course, only approved post will be visible. In the users table, we will have an created by ID because uh, super admin can create a user and admin can create a user. And there will be updated by ID uh, and we want to understand whom assigned which role to the uh, user. And deleted by ID will be used uh, to track whom deleted uh, which user and delete it at will be used to uh, understand which uh, users accounts are uh, active or not which are deleted when they are deleted uh, so that's all for the explanation now let's have a move on to create the, our project okay everybody just let me tell you that i have uploaded a scaffold project into the github which I'm regularly used for my projects and I'm planning to use it in this, in this tutorial as well. Now let's go to this link. This is the link that you have to go. And once you open up, you can see the all project codes here. And uh, this scaffold basically an empty project just have an integrated dashboard design. And we will not spend a lot of time to create or integrate a dashboard design uh, for this tutorial. And in order to use that project uh, here, you can just click to this code button here and you can click this download zip and it will be downloaded to your computer. And another choice that you can have, and you can directly copy this link here. And if you have an install git client on your computer, you can open up your terminal. You can write git clone and paste this link and it will automatically download uh, this scaffold, let's say this project into your computer. 
Of course, it will take a little time because it depends on your connection. Once it's downloaded, uh, you can open it with, a your, with your ID. I'm using PHP Storm. Let me open it. This is the project. Okay. Once you open your project, and you have to install a vendor, uh, let's say the packages that you have to install in this project. So just open up your terminal. I have integrated terminal in PHP Storm. If you don't, uh, if you are not using PHP Storm, then you can open up your terminal. And then I'm gonna write Composer install. And it will download all the required packages in Composer JSON. And after that, I'm gonna write PHP artisan serve. And it will open up this project in my computer. Uh, probably I'm using this port. So that's why I have to go to this port here. Okay, we got an, an error because uh, probably we didn't connect to the database. That's why we got an error. So let me open up my uh, env file here. We don't have an env file, but we have to create it. env. Okay. Basically, you have to just copy this file and rename it to the .env. And once you do that, you have to write php artisan key generate and it will create an uh, application key. Then you have to uh, change this uh, db database here. I'm gonna write, the, uh, let's say, CMS, content management system, and my username database username will be YouTube. My password will be YouTube question mark and one. Probably I don't have this uh, Shima or let's say database. So I'm just gonna create it in the data grip. Data grip is an, another ID that I'm using to connect uh, my database. It's a database client. You can use MySQL Workbench or any other one that you prefer. I'm gonna create it here. Let's have a say CMS. Okay, it have been created this uh, CMS schema here. And now I'm just gonna try to reload my page. And yes, it's working. And now we have been connected to the database. And now I'm just going to log in. Of course, I cannot log in because you know, the tables that I told you is not available yet. There, there are no users table in the schema or let's say database. Uh, there's migration. If you go to database migrations, there's migration, as you can see, create users table. Uh, but we have to uh, make sure that create some uh, columns here. I'm going to use enum and it's going to be role. And as you remember, as I explained, there will be four different roles for the users. And, as, and it is going to be a uh, super admin admin, editor, and role. And also we are going to have an uh, created by ID, updated by ID, and deleted ads. So that's why I'm just gonna write foreign. And this is going to be a created by ID, references, ID, ID on users table. This is going to be unsigned big integer and created by ID. I'm just going to copy this one. There will be updated by ID as well. Updated by ID and okay. And also there will be deleted at. So that's why I'm just going to write here soft deletes. Soft deletes automatically create deleted adds for us and if the role uh, let's say if the uh, row in the database let's say the data in the data in the table have this deleted at uh, column field that means uh, it has been deleted and the models will not load this user so basically this user automatically becomes an inactive in the system so after that i'm gonna write PHP artisan migrate 
and you will see that we have some tables here. I'm just going to reload it here. As you can see, we have users table. And there are some other tables as well. Failed jobs, uh, password research, pers personal access tokens, and migrations. Those are the default tables that comes within Laravel framework. Uh, we are not going to use these failed jobs, password resets, or personal access tokens. But I'm just going to leave them here. I'm not going to delete them. Uh, if you like, you can delete uh, them here and they will not be created. And now I'm going to create uh, a user, a super admin user in the system. So that's why I'm just going to go to uh, Cedar. In the Cedar, uh, this is the default Cedar that comes with an uh, new projects. Whenever you write PHP artisan um, db seed command, it will it will run this com uh, run this database Cedar here, and it will create ten users in the database. And but you know what? You have to go to this here user factory. Okay, when you go to the user factory, you will see that it will create name, email, email verified at password and remember token columns for this user. But we have been uh, at three or four new columns. So we have to update here. We have to make an update here uh, or we have to make an update here. So I will prefer to write this in one because I only want one user. And I'm going to put my array here and I'm going to say that email will be, uh, let's say, super admin at test.com. This will overwrite whatever written here. So this line will not will not be a uh, work. Instead, it will just put this email, whatever I, I put it here, it overwrite this one. And and what we need, uh, we need a created by ID as well and updated by ID. But you know, since this user is going to be super admin and the first first user in the system, we don't need those uh, columns to be filled. So I'm just gonna change the migration. And I'm gonna make them nullable. I only write role here, okay? So I'm just gonna come here. The role will be super admin. This is what we need. It will create one user. Email will be superadmin.test.com. The role will be superadmin and the password will be password. But just before that, I have to uh, recreate this users table. So that's why I'm just gonna write migrate, fresh and seat. Dash 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 seat means after create all the tables, it will run the cedar. So it will run this one. So whenever this is run, it will create the user for me. Let's make sure that it's been created. You see, I got a message, database seeding completed successfully, and I have the user. So I'm just gonna copy this email here. I'm gonna paste here, and I'm gonna run, and I'm gonna write password. And you, we, are in the dashboard. This is our dashboard, guys. And I've been created three uh, example pages, but they are completely just a design. There is no PHP code inside. Uh, and let's see if I create this example table. As you can see, this is the table. Uh, whenever we create, it will be look like this one. And this this will be the form. And also we can use breadcrumb if you, if you like. Actually, I'm I'm still improving this scaffold. I'm adding more more example pages and more things. And in the further projects, we I'm I'm gonna still use that scaffold as well. So first of all, I'm just gonna stop this video here because we have been created our project and we have been made some configurations and it's running. We could be logged into the system successfully. And in the next video, we are going to start to create a user management module. So we will be able to create uh, different users, uh, assign different roles them. So see you in the next video, guys.